Bloody Pulp in Autumn. In July 1939, Polish Western society burned Hitler's effigy in Pulplin. Local Germans were observing who was involved in that action, so that a month later, a meeting was held in Lutzle restaurant and a special list was created. On that list, Poles being a threat to great Germany were placed. Pulplin was taken over without a single shot on September 3, 1939, with the German troops' invasion from Starogard direction. A local German, Dieter Lutz, tore and marched over a Polish flag in company of some German soldiers, while on the square in front of the Palpins Cathedral, Albert Forster, the NSDA peak dance girl lighter, declared to the crowds, Poles made Pomerania district Polish in 20 years. We Germans, we will make it German in 24 hours. At once in town and the surroundings, members of the local Selbstschutz became very active. Selbstschutz was a paramilitary formation consisting of German ethnic minority residing on the pre-war territory of Poland. Both nations, Poles and Germans, coexisted quite peacefully up to the outbreak of World War II, when the German hatred led to the annihilation of hundreds of thousands of Polish residents. Let us mention the names of some Selbstschutz activists as well as SS officers in Poplin. Strelke, Bonus, Rosenke, Hinz, Lutz, Netzel, Blaschke, Talwitze and the Drefs, Oberleutnant Helmut Richter, Gustav Hogenfeld and the Mörs Zelig. Before 1939, Poplin was the seat of Helmno bishops, higher seminary and famous Marianum College. That's why clergy was the first victim to the Intelligenzaktion. In September 1939, Maximilian Rascheja, Franciszek Baumgart and Father Jerzy Chudziński were arrested. On September the 20th, Father Chudziński was executed in Chef. The culminating point of Palpin Bloody Autumn was October the 20th, 1939, when Selbschutz and SS arrested all members of clergy who were in town. Only Bishop Constante Dominique and Professor Franciszek Savitsky were spurred. Professor Savitsky is reported to have been spurred by Major SS, who understood that Savitsky might have been indispensable in registering and looting precious books from the seminary's library. Walter Schutt, the Chancellor of the Diocese in Curie, and the German by birth, had chance to survive. It is said that one of the Gestapo officers asked him to step aside, but should declared, I'd rather go with my Polish friends and share their fate. Arrested priests were robbed of personal belongings and taken to a forest outside the town, where they were forced to dig burial pits for themselves. However, the execution was stopped as Germans realized that it could be observed by someone. The arrested were dragged back to Poplin, where they were packed to a lorry and driven to Chef. On the arrival, they were brought to cells and tortured. In the evening, 16 out of the 19 captured priests were executed. Among them were Father Julius Bartkowski, Father Pavel Kirstein, Father Józef Roskwitalski, Father Walter Schutt, Jan Wisniewski, PhD. Apart from Father Jerzy Chudziński and the executed priest in chef, Germans killed seven Palplins, members of clergy. At the same time, Germans started to destroy all artifacts in Palplin for for example, statues of Polish saints or historical events. Cathedral and seminary were looted, with Polish books being taken away or burned. The building of seminary was transferred to become Polish arrest, where Einsatzkommando 16 detained Polish elite members. The Palplin Cathedral served as police school. In total, Germans killed 450 clergy members out of 670 in Helmno and Gdansk dioceses. Spengavsky Forest was the site of mass executions where on the 23rd October 
11 employees of the sugar factory were killed. In the next days, further executions took place. Mostly elite members fell victim to German hatred, local municipality members, teachers, industry employees. Let us mention just a few names. Stanisław Mielecki, Teodor Pruszak, Wacław Tkiewicz, Henryk Hepner, Józef Przygodziński, Wanda N. Wacław Niklas, Bolesław Knast, Stefan Rapiur, Leon Lewandowski, Leon Jarczewski, Valerian Dera. After the war, Otto Anders, deputy Gauleiter in 1939-1940 on that area, was brought to justice, sentenced to 15 years of prison, was released in 1956 due to amnesty. On the 17th September 2003, Bishop Jan Bernard Schlager opened the Procell Beatification of 122 Polish victims of the Nazi ideology.